sense, okay? You want to make sure that you have the main idea. And you want to make sure that you hit, use the phrases of at least the, the, the other supportive major things that are going to be here. Let's go to the next one. This next paragraph and this, this four paragraph thing should be about what? This, uh, the next paragraph should be about what? What's our A? Knowledge base. Okay, good. You got one minute. Go. One minute. Read it over. What's the main idea? Knowledge-based learning. I'll write that down. What are some A, B, and C? What are some other images in this paragraph here? What are some other things? Like in that, uh, in this second sentence, what's, what's one idea that sticks out? What image sticks out? Okay, so I think traditional, there's this conversation, there's a little bit on traditional. And this is the, it's, it's the skills, learning skills, best ways to learn skills, that's the traditional approach. Okay, so I'm just going to write down uh, something to do with traditional, traditional. And what's another thing? Curriculum design, I, who, who saw that right there? Okay, old school, some, okay. And uh, if we go a little further down, what's, a what's another piece that's also here? What's another piece that's also in here? This event, right? What was, the, what was the event? Nation at risk. Okay, so all I'm saying is if you're writing a summary on this one right here, on the second paragraph, this is, this is paragraph number two. Well, obviously, you want to mention in your topic sentence, this is about learning-based knowledge, using that traditional, using that. But you want to reference, you know, the skills and the curriculum design and maybe some details, like another sentence or, or something could be on nation at risk. So these are, in summarizing this, you'd want to hit at least three different moments, three different details on this paragraph. Give me a yes on this if you agree. Uh, taking quotes from the passage is good or drawing direct phrases from the passage. Is that okay? Absolutely. So you would not only want to get you. So so if I clear this off a little bit so it's a, it's a, it's a little cleaner to see. If we're just doing that last point here, we're going to talk about skills. We're going to have something on curriculum. Okay, but if we're just doing that last point here on nation at risk, we want to get this detail. Maybe we get this detail. Dispelling count. This dispelling count, if I were to put any of these in, absolutely. President, Ronald Reagan, all capital, National Commission of Excellence in Education. So if you use it and you absolutely want to use it in your summary, the more things from the text, the better. But it has to be spelt right. If you're going to use it, use it correctly. If you're going to borrow words or phrases, make sure they're spelt correctly. Oh, look, traditional. Check. Knowledge-centered approach. Check. Uh, anything else? Curriculum. Check. 1980s. Check. At risk. Check. Look, just look really closely at some of the citations. When they, when they quote a nation at risk, how do they do it? They use what? Yeah, they use italics and and quotation marks, right? There's quotation marks there. So if you're pulling, I mean, this one has quotation marks in it, and they include the, so don't leave that stuff out, okay? Uh, I like dates, too. I'm going to circle this date, too. The date, it's not exact, but, you know, you're, you're, you're getting details from the text. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.